guys, Tracy here from Grinds360. So starting off today with plate tectonics, our very first chapter in physical geography. Now to start off here, first thing we need to remember is that physical geography is questions number one, two, and three on our Leaving Cert exam. Guys, that's the first thing you're gonna make a note of on the front of your physical geography textbook. Questions number one, two, and three, as well as appearing in the short answer questions. So again, short answer questions, 10 out of 12 short answer questions we have to answer. Answer all 12, three marks mark each, 80 marks in total, and we're 20% of that written paper. Now guys, I'm gonna get you to jump over as far as page number three. Your page number three should look like this here, and we're gonna get started on plate tectonics. Now the first thing we're gonna start off here with plate tectonics is we're gonna speak about what can appear. Now, plate tectonics, as I mentioned, can appear in the short answer question section. However, what students are usually very concerned about is the essay style questions. So on the front cover of every single chapter, every single section in our notes, we're gonna make, make a list, a very, very distinctive list of the essay questions that have appeared and when they have appeared. So let's get started, guys. Now, on page number three, you should be over as far as there, you have plenty of time. We're looking at plate tectonics. And again, I'm gonna repeat myself quite a lot. This is a physical geography question, which can appear in both short questions and questions one, two, and three on your Leaving Cert exam. Now, how does it appear? Well, it does appear as a short question, and that's absolutely perfect. But how does it appear as an essay style question? And again, the essay style question, guys, I know is what you are concerned about. Well, the first way, and really, there is about five essay style questions that we see here, and some of them, amazingly enough, can be recycled into more than one chapter after this. The first essay question here, number one, is the theory of plate tectonics. Now, the theory of plate tectonics last appeared in 2019 on the Leaving Cert exam, making a little note on that, again, making a note of the years. And the theory of plate tectonics is a combination of two things. Number one, the theory of continental drift. And continental drift was introduced by a man called Alfred Wegener in 1912. And I'm going to put a little plus there, the theory of seafloor spreading. Again, guys, make sure you're making notes. Seafloor spreading by Harry H.S. in 1960. So if we get that 2019 question, we're asked to discuss the theory of plate tectonics or the plate tectonic model. What do we write about? Continental drift seafloor spreading, and how it equals the theory of plate tectonics introduced by M M Vine and Matthews. That's essay number one, guys. Essay number two is the theory or plate boundaries, I should say. Now, my plate boundaries last came up on its own in 2009. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Tracy, why do I need to know this if this came up in 2009? Hasn't appeared in the last number of years. However, plate boundaries, as you'll know yourself, there is three different types of plate boundaries. We have constructive, PV for plate boundary. We have destructive, a destructive plate boundary. And we also have transform, a transform plate boundary. Now, constructive can also be referred to as divergent, destructive as convergent, and transform as passive or conservative or neutral. Now, in 2009, your examiner asked you, and they actually referenced the theory of plate tectonics in the question. They asked you to discuss the different types of the distribution of plate boundaries. And you spoke about constructive, destructive, and transform. However, if we look at the more recent trends on the Leaving Cert paper, what you're going to actually find is that the examiner is now focusing in on a particular type of plate boundary. So essay number three here is actually constructive on its own. And we've seen our constructive plate boundaries appear in both 2020 and in 2016. But destructive is essay number four on its own. Again, to examiner describe or discuss destructive plate boundaries where plates collide. And this appeared in the, on the 2024 paper. It also appeared on the 2018 paper and the 2014 paper. So when we go and we learn our plate boundaries together, we learn all three. But then what we do is we're gonna zone into constructive on its own, adding detail, but keeping the same structure and the same with destructive. That's essay numbers two, three, and four, and massive overlap there, guys. My last essay here, essay number five. Essay number five is our Irish landscapes and tectonic activity. And guys, this has appeared in 2022, in 2019, and in 2015. Again, good to have the trends on the Leaving Cert paper. And if we're asked about how the Irish landscape is, you know, transformed by tectonic activity, what can we discuss? Guys, I'm going to get you to discuss two things. And there's a particular reason why I'm getting you to discuss these two things. 
Because if we learn these two particular things, or I should, shouldn't be calling them things, features, we can recycle them each in two more places. So there's actually three uses for them. So when we're talking about tectonic activity and the Irish landscape, we're going to talk about, first of all, our basalt plateau. Our basalt plateau in particular, I'm going to put AD for Antrim Dury, our Antrim Dury plateau against the Irish landscape. Now, when we learn our basal plateau here for half of this essay, and I'll talk about my SRPs later on, we're going to find that we can actually use that as an extrusive volcanic feature and also an, a landscape associated with a particular rock type, in this case, obviously basalt. So we're looking at basal plateau and we're saying we can use it here in plate tectonics, in volcanic activity, and also in the rock cycle. We can literally recycle this. There's very few years you can't actually use that, pay, that this particular section of this essay. So this actually is three uses ago. I'm going to make a little note of that. But it does say Irish landscape. So again, looking for more than one. The second one I'm going to have a look at is a batholith. In particular, the Leinster batholith. And similar to your basal plateau, this can actually be used three times again because it can be used as an intrusive volcanic feature in volcanic activity, or again, a landscape associated with, with a particular rock type, i.e. Grant in this case here. Now guys, you have five distinct essays to learn. Number one, the theory of plate tectonics. Number two, your plate boundaries, which came up in 2019. Number three, again, recycling the material you learned for plate, plate boundaries, constructive plate boundaries. Four, destructive plate boundaries and five Irish landscapes and tectonic activity. And the good thing here is that there's two full other essays where this can be recycled. Guys, that is what we need to know for the theory of plate tectonics. Later on in this chapter, we're gonna be looking at the different style questions.